Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terror. I hope everybody's well. So, Aries Taurus, it is time for your Aries Taurus cusp baby reading. If your birthday lies on that cusp between Cardinal Fire and Fixed Earth, this one might be for you. It's not really a Moon Rising or Venus reading, it's a Sun Sun cusp, so it's not going to resonate with all that stuff. But if it resonates with you, you can take it with you. You're more than welcome to. If not, that's fine. We'll try again next month. Time and energy can still be fluid, and if you're a cross watcher up in here trying to figure your person out, I have got to give you props. You have done some extra homework, haven't you? Okay. Anyway, on with that. Where was I? Oh. If you're new here, think we might vibe and shit, you want to come back, hang out some more, you can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for stopping back by again. A couple more shuffles. It all helps the channel, and it all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the message. think we're there. But two quick things before I invoke the cards. Never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are. Mine or somebody else's. And if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, leave the cards and tip them walk away. Okay? Heavenly Father, Mother, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for my Aries Taurus Collective. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given and I ask that you help me use it to bring all querents to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. My ear just started ringing like crazy and I do not know why. It's like, Bee! Anyway, where were we? Don't know what you're waiting around for, but okay. All right, so you're in the energy of the Seven of Wands, which means some of you have managed to defeat your inner demons, rising up, taking control back of your lives. That's pretty awesome. The challenge is maintaining balance, being able to give as well as receive. Okay, all right. Incoming events, Four of Wands. Celebration, wish fulfillment, might be a soulmate, 11-11 connection, twin flame, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Might be, might be, you know. Don't, don't get too overzealous, though. Because there's still an eight of swords in behind that, and a chariot in behind that, so I shouldn't say behind. It's actually in front of If this series of events goes in the order of the cards. Because that's getting wrapped up in a cage of your own thoughts and putting distance between yourself and someone else. Possibly. Might be forward movement. We'll throw a clarifier on it. Man, it's all happening. There's the Two of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Emperor. The Two of Swords is a decision that you make with clarity. You've put some thought into this. And I think some of you chose to love yourself and gain control back of your life. Okay. Outcome is the Empress Reverse. Something was not meant to grow. The Make or Break is the Seven of Cups, which is a card of options. Okay. Talk to me about this Four of Wands. The Swords Reversed. And the Two of Swords Reversed. One more, but that's not a start you're making with clarity. I tell you that right now. Five of Wands and the Six of Wands. Conflict. 
conflict. Page of Swords to the Knight of Swords. The Page of Swords sometimes tells us things that we don't want to hear. I think in all appearances, something was rosy. It's hard to say what came first, the chicken or the egg. The conflict or the message. What's this Eight of Swords all about? Somebody ends up all in their head. That's what I can see. Somebody's going to end up all in their head about it. The Empress into the Emperor. The magician into the High Priestess. There's a pull here. Ace of coins, two of coins. Lovers into the chariot. I think I'm going to stop there. There's a pull, but there's a decision. There's a pull, but there is a decision. Three into the four, one into the two, two into the three, six into the seven, eight. There's a choice. The seed's going to grow. It's going to grow slow. Someone's making a choice. There's a chariot here. Five of coins into the six of coins. That's distance. Distance to regain balance. Somebody feels it. Somebody's scared. Three of cups into the four of cups. I need time to think. We may reunite, but I need a minute. I need to distance myself from this for a minute. I need time. Somebody's going to need time. You may be a little bit farther than somebody, further ahead than somebody on the spiritual aspect of this. This is happening because someone loves themselves enough to want to get control back. To really want to be able to give you that cup. They love themselves enough or they love you enough. They feel the pull. But there's conflict. Possibly there's conflict because something's moving a little fast. Possibly there's conflict because this was... Well, 5 to the 6 to the 7... This may be the second go-around for some of you. Why the Two of Swords? The Star into the Moon. Someone's making the clear-headed decision that they need time. They need to go down the path of healing. They're not ready. Why the Queen of Cups? Why the Queen of Cups?
Seven of Wands to the Eight of Wands reversed. I can't move forward yet because I haven't defeated my demons. I love you enough to want to defeat my demons. That is so sweet. One more on that. Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords. I need to think this through. The moon into the sun. I've got to walk this path. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The Emperor. I love this Emperor card, too. Very hard-shelled tortoise there. You know what else tortoises do? They don't move very quick. This very soft, vulnerable animal under that shell. They maintain control. But they know that shell can only protect them from so much. One of the Emperor. King of Swords. Yeah. Somebody that needs time. Four cups at the bottom of the deck. Contemplation. Contemplation. Four cups into the five of cups. Contemplation. I need to process before I can take your cup. I need to process before I can take your cup. King of Swords speaks truth. He speaks truth from a logical point of view. Why the Empress reversed is the outcome. I'm feeling like somebody just needs time, but the outcome is not saying that. So I got to know about this Empress reversed. Nine of Cups into the Ten of Cups. This can't grow until someone reaches that Nine of Cups level. That I'm okay by myself, so I can be okay with somebody else. I'm okay by myself, so I can take a cup. I don't know if it was you or the other person. Nine of Swords into the Ten of Swords. There's still shit I have to process. Eight of Swords to the Nine, Nine to the Ten. Don't get all caught up. This cannot grow until things come to an end. Why is the Seven of Cups the make or break? <clears throat> Queen of Cups reversed. Mm. Three of Swords into the Four of Swords. Okay, if this stings a little bit, don't let it sting too much. One on this Three of Swords. Queen of Swords in the game. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Don't. I would not cut this person off completely. I, th I think they just need time. I think you need to give them time to decide what cup they want. Because clearly something has to close out for them before they can move on. Six of Wands to the Seven of Wands. They gotta, they gotta defeat their demons. There could be a comeback to victory here. But somebody's gotta defeat their demons first. You may just have to wait. Aries, Taurus Cusps. Two signs you don't really like waiting. I mean, I feel that. But sometimes you just gotta wait. Oh, shoot. Crystal power first. Doing the crystal power first. Crystal power. Oh, a twofer. The Hierophant and the Fool. I'm ready to love and learn. 
I'm guided and protected in my life journey. Hmm. There's potential here. There's potential here for a blessed union once, once y'all are both ready to jump. I can deal with whatever comes my way. Strength. There is a time to hold back and there is a time to move forward. And you need to decide which one it is. All right. One out of the Wisdom Oracle. All right. Give me a jumper. Imagine. And milk and honey. Number 20. Imagine. Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision broad Sorry, sorry, fashioning a vision board. Dyslexic, sorry. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief. And soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. Wow, I like that. 51, milk and honey. Milk and honey. You've entered a sweet time in your life. Enjoying the land of milk and honey. That everyone wants to experience. It's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious. When all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe, these times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment. Not wanting, yet able to be nourished in both, in ways both tangible and subtle. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. Okay, guys. We're going to call it a read. Have a wonderful month, and I'll catch you the next time the cusp rolls around. Take care.